Hi guys, so we are at page 334, um, Trail Guide to the Body. Okay, so um, we are going to be um, featuring how to palpate the psoas major, okay? So uh, looking at the image here, uh, partner or client in a supine position and the therapist is trying to access the psoas while the partner is flexing his hip, okay? So this is the location of the umbilicus and as you can see uh, there, Okay, so as major primarily flexes the hip. So, but when the femur is stabilized, the psoas in conjunction with iliacus can increase the lordotic um, curvature. So, in the lumbar spine and, and create an anterior tilt, downward rotation of the pelvis. So, it has also been theorized that only the superficial fibers of the psoas increase the lordotic curve, whereas the deeper fibers may decrease it. Okay, this is an impor important factor, guys. So psoas major when accessing either the psoas or iliacus, uh, palpate slowly and communicate with your partner. If at, at any point he does not feel comfortable or safe, slowly remove your hands. Okay, so the psoas major lies just lateral to the abdominal aorta. So if you feel a strong pulse directly beneath your fingers when accessing the uh, muscle, realign them more uh, laterally. Okay, so partner in a supine position with the hips slightly flexed and laterally rotated. We're going to support your partner's thigh by placing your thigh underneath it. So locate the navel and as, um, ASIS. So placing your finger pads hand on hand between these points. So slowly compress your finger pads into the abdomen, moving only when your partner exhales. Okay, compressing in small circles upon your partner's initial exhalations will assist in moving the abdominal contents to the side. As you compress further, keep your finger pads stationary and direct your fingers downward toward the table. Check that you are palpating the psoas, not the surrounding tissues, by asking your partner to flex his hip ever so slightly. So if your fingers are accessing the psoas, you will feel a definite solid contraction. Okay, so if you can see at the image there, right? So um, you're going to ask yourself these questions. Are you between the ASIS and navel? Is the direction of your fingers at a slight angle toward the spine? Have you compressed slowly, allowing the overlying tissue to relax? So if you did not feel the muscle contract, try again with the fingers repositioned farther, farther and fairly. Okay, so looking at the image here, partner inside lying with the hips flexed. So curling your fingers into the abdomen. So side lying position allows the abdominal contents to shift away from the psoas and oftentimes offer a less invasive position for your partner. So with the hips in a flex position, place a bolster between your partner's knees. So locate the na navel on ASIS, placing your finger pads hand on hand between these points. So following your partner's breathe or breath, Oh, my apologies. Curl your fingers into the abdomen and into the surface of the uh, psoas. So ask your partner to flex his hip slightly so you can feel for the psoas contraction. I'll see you guys on page 335.